Why are games so big nowadays? Like, I'm not talking about like big, like holding size. I'm talking about gigabyte size. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, gigabyte size. Anyways, why are the games so big in gigabytes? Uh, this is a question that I have for a long time, long time in the galaxy far, far away. And um, you see, I'm looking at this from the point of view of Nintendo, the PlayStation or Xbox, or even PC if you will. Now, all of the Nintendo games fit on this tiny little cartridge, besides actually a, ti a little bit of few of them, a tiny little few of them, that you can just take the cartridge, pick up, and play. Like if you go into a store or GameStop or Best Buy or Target or whatever you go and get your games from, you can pick it up, get the game, arrive home, even if your home is in the middle of nowhere and you don't have internet, you can take the game, stick it in there, slam down the cartridge opener, and play the game. Of course, if your Switch is charged. But if you try to do the same thing with a PlayStation or an Xbox, well, it's a little different. You go to the store, you get your PlayStation or Xbox game, you take it, you stick it in the disk drive, you close it up, or you, you click eject, whatever, you put it in there, you start up the console, and then you get a message saying, oh, a download is required, please connect to the internet. Ah, oh, dang it, I just got myself a $60 game and I can't play it. What the heck is this? Anyways, and then you're frustrated because like, why? Why does it need to be connected to the internet? It doesn't fit on the disc anymore? No, it doesn't. The disc ass is a key. Why don't you put a tiny little portion on the disc? Let you play it on the disc. And if you want to play online stuff, you can go download it. I don't know. Why is it so big? It's like, we're running, what are we doing? We're running on a supercomputer or something? Some games are up to like 300 gigabytes, I believe now. 300 gigabytes, that's with all the DLC updates and stuff. Now, there's been a game that's been announced that was supposed to be apparently, whatever, 300 gigabytes. But that was definitely just shot in the dark by Activision because this was Black Ops 6 or something. They were apparently saying it's 300 gigabytes. I'm gonna say it's 250. Because, uh, what was it, Cold War? That was like 200, 230 or something. Was it even 300? That one, that game was pretty big in gigabytes. But anyways, what the heck? What makes them so big? If you're looking at a game like Tears of the Kingdom, this game is a very good game. Graphics aren't super high, but you can play the entire game. No low times, nothing. On this smallest cartridge in the world, if I had a face cam, you would see me. My fingers are very close to touching each other. And you look at the cartridge, and it's actually only half of it. Very tiny. My fingers are close, close, very close to touching each other now. And this just makes me scratch my noggin and say, where have we gone? But I totally understand it. For some games, like let's just take Elden Ring, for example. Now, this game is absolutely phenomenal. I totally understand why that game does not fit on the disc. Because maybe the disc is kind of like a barrier to the console, the reading system, or whatever. And instead of getting it, it's kind of like a Bluetooth speaker. It's not fully injected in there. So, like, if the game runs better if it's fully on the system. Now, you totally need, like, 4K... 60 FPS or 4k 120 FPS for playing that game because oh my goodness it is so good the game it looks beautiful now I totally understand I understand it to the very end that the game does not fit and it's also a big game but it's only like 70 gigabytes but for that game I can say hey that's a pretty good uh, amount of gigabytes for that game what we got we got a fully open world game, looks beautiful, and you probably need all the FPS you can get. So I understand why it doesn't fit on that disc, or you don't even need the disc for any say. But the other games, now other games that I would come in mind, we would take Call of Duty for example. Now these games aren't any 
particular special specialty. They don't have anything special, really. It's not really an open world game, so you don't need the maximum amount of power in your engine. So you don't need the biggest amount of frame rates and stuff. I know it's, an, it's a multiplayer game, but you still don't really need the most, the max amount of things. Also, you don't even need the max amount of graphics either. Somehow the game is still high in gigabytes. Every single game that, let's just say you're playing it on PlayStation or Xbox, every single game is over 100 gigabytes. Besides the old ones, what is it? Anyways, the old ones could fit on the disc. You take it, go to your store, stick it in there, slap down the hatch, play it on your old Xbox 360. Uh, these games are fantastic. Now, where did we go in the last few years? Now, the, to be honest, the games uh, don't look that much better from the Xbox One and the Xbox Series X. Boom, I said it. Or the Xbox 360 to the Xbox One. Oh no, I said it. Yep. Maybe maybe I must be going like uh, cuckoo here because I said it. Now, we clearly see that there's a little bit of step up. But it's not like the biggest step up from like the PS1 to the PS2. Now, that was a massive step up. And they still fit on that disc. Oh, we didn't have any internet back then. But anyways, I really need help with this because like, it's very mind-boggling. I try to do some research, tippity tappity, cheapity tappity, on the internet, and I'm like, clicking on it, and clicking on every single link. Uh, it doesn't say it's like, why the game gets so big. Yeah, that's where I search stuff. Anyways, I'm saying that the game got so big because not, not the graphics, no, no, no. Because the graphics, those are maybe 10 to 20 gigabytes. Stick it out the window. I'm saying because companies don't want to compress their files like Nintendo. Nintendo knows that pretty much basically all the player base is playing Nintendo games as an exclusive hardware. So they want to stick as many Nintendo own games on there. Unless you're playing fully digital or whatever. But... Yeah, they just want to stick them all on there so you can have a giant, massive library. You can get a one terabyte card and probably have 500 Nintendo games on there. A PlayStation would only take up to 10. Yep. But, you know, it it's, it's really uh, interesting. This is an interesting topic that you can go ahead and leave your comment in the comment section. Because I'd love to know all your opinions. Your, your opinions are great. And some things that I don't know much about freaking storage and stuff. Why is it so much? I play basically Nintendo stuff all my life. I, but I mostly played little other games that I didn't care about storage. It was just like sticking there. I would never use the online. But I had, uh, yeah, the Nintendo 3DS. And I had the Super Nintendo. Because, yeah, I played on there. Those games were great. And, um, yeah, that was pretty much it. But, you know, those games are fine. I don't know much about 300 gigabytes and stuff. Like, I, I need some help with this. Recently got myself Wii U. It was pretty good. But, yeah. Anyways, if you enjoyed this uh, simpleton little video, consider dropping a like. Maybe subscribing if you want to. Hey, it's up to you. It's totally up to you. And, uh, yeah, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, see you in the next one.